Hi there, this is Karen here, and I'm going to take you on a tour of your Language Therapy Advanced Premium Members Area Materials Library. So this area is where you can find all of your printable resources that come with being a member. So I know how difficult it can be to sift through all different kinds of catalogs and materials, and I know how frustrating it can be when you go to a conference or watch somebody present, and then you're not quite sure how to implement the strategy. So what I do in this program is whenever I show you how to implement a strategy, I also give you some materials and printouts and protocols to go with it so that you can save time and spend less time planning so that you can just get to your therapy and start implementing these techniques right away. So what we're going to do is, again, I have clicked on that view product from my library, and now I'm going to go scroll down, now that I'm in the members area, scroll down past the welcome video and the announcements to the categories here with these posts, and where we can find all of the printouts is in the materials library here under this post. Now, I also post the materials anytime I do a video training and I mention a material in that video training. I will always post it on the bottom right-hand side of the screen in the downloads. So there's actually two places that you can get all your materials. So if you wanted to, you can just follow along with all of the featured trainings and just download the materials as they come up. So for example, if I click on the featured training for this month, which right now, the one that's up on the screen here is about building syntax. So you can see if I go to the videos here, I'm going to click on, I'll click on this third video about teaching passive voice. So if I click on that, that is going to take me to the first video. You can see that there's a bunch of downloads over here in the bottom right side of the screen. So all of these downloads are also in the materials library, but since when you're watching the video, you might not wanna click out of the video and go into the materials library and dig through everything, I've also included all of those handouts that you need in the, the video section. So. As I mentioned them, they'll always be down there in the downloads, so you could just go ahead and wait and download everything that's relevant as you go through the trainings, but if you wanted to start using some of the materials right away, you have another option here. I'm gonna scroll out to the main dashboard here. You can also download everything in the materials library because there might be times when you might have something that you want to do with your students and maybe I haven't covered it in that month, month's featured trainings. Maybe we haven't talked about it yet. So I also include all the materials in the materials library. So because I know that you are an educated SLP, you will probably be able to figure out how to use these materials. Of course, you'll get more out of them if you are watching the featured trainings, but you will be able to figure out how to use all of these right away. The featured trainings and the videos will just help you dig deeper and take it to the next level. But you can go ahead right now and look through what's here in the materials library. So right now, the sections that we have are this first section, evaluations, data, therapy, planning, and productivity. So in this section, I have Anything that is included with data collection, consulting with teachers to figure out where your students are in the classroom or what you might need to do to align your therapy with what's going on in class, and also just productivity, so lesson planning and writing present level statements, writing goals, all of these resources in this section will help you with those things there. So what I'm gonna do right now is just click in there, and then I'm gonna show you what's in here right now. So what's included in here is your spot framework guide, which walks you through an entire system to make sure that your therapy is aligned with the curriculum and students' needs. So that includes things like curriculum cheat sheets and rating skills you can use to collect data for your students, quick guides that will give you some scripts for writing reports and present level statements, 
guides to interpreting test data, a guide to writing goals, data collection forms, and then a resource that'll help you start creating a staple list of activities. I also have in here the Ultimate Guide to School Age Language Development, which is an ebook that outlines the developmental progression of language from kindergarten through grade 12. You'll see that it's not linear and it's not a neat little chart like you get for the early years. And once you start reading the guide, you'll see why, but that's, an, that's also another resource for you to figure out what language development is expected throughout the school age years. I also have a quick guide that is kind of a quick and dirty version of that ultimate guide. So this covers some of those early milestones and then gives you just general guidelines for language development beyond school age. And then I've also got a resource in here that is a worksheet for planning your therapy that will help you be more productive as you are going through all these techniques in the program. So I'm gonna pop back out here. The next category includes syntax resources. So if you click in here, what you'll be able to find, I have handouts on different types of conjunctions. And then I have three ultimate guides to syntax that walk you through evidence-based techniques for targeting difficult sentence types that tend to cause students with language disorders to have comprehension problems. So the first guide covers passive voice and guides two and three cover the other types of difficult sentences. So sentences with temporal and causal conjunctions, relative clauses, and multiple clauses. And then they walk you through two different evidence-based ways to target those sentence types that have been shown to improve comprehension and overall cohesion of writing. There's also a handout that will walk you through sentence combining, and then another handout that will show you some basic sentence structures for students that maybe aren't quite ready for those advanced sentence combining activities. So let's go back out to the materials library here. Now I have put morphology, orthography, and phonology all together. Now I plan to be adding to this section over time, but anything that is involved with studying prefixes or affixes or those grammatical markers, I do cover some grammar techniques in those syntax guides that I just mentioned, but if you want to really dig into word parts, you would want to go into this section here. Now, the reason that morphology, orthography, and phonology is lumped all together is because really with all of these different pieces of language, it's hard to talk about one without talking about another because they all impact each other. So usually when you're talking about prefixes and affixes, it's also relevant to talk about how words are spelled, which is orthography, and then also how they're pronounced, which is phonology. So that's why these are all together here. Again, I'm planning to add to this over time. Right now, I've got some basic cheat sheets and tips, but we will be diving deeper into some more in-depth resources and materials here that will really walk you through how to target morphology and orthography with your students as you're studying words. So all of those types of resources can be found in that section. The next section we have is semantics. So what I have in this section here is resources that will help you to study semantic features. So this will walk you through semantic feature analysis for nouns, verbs, and adjectives that will really help you study those different features of words that will cause your students word retrieval difficulties. And I also walk you through self-questioning as you are working on semantic feature analysis so that your students can start to use that strategy when you are not with them. And then I also talk about how to put those features into a good solid definition and study definitions so that your students aren't just drilling and memorizing word definitions. So that's when the, what's in this meta definitions handout. And then the last section here 
are resources for carryover. So once you've studied all those different pieces of vocabulary, you're also going to want to tie in some strategies to help your students generalize to the classroom. So what's included in this section, and again, I will be adding to this over time to really help your students to be able to use vocabulary when they're doing things like telling stories or writing. But what we've got in here now are resources that will help your students to answer questions because that tends to be something that is really difficult for our students. So you can find handouts and flashcards in this section that will guide you through that. And I will be adding to this materials library over time as we go through the program and as I add to those featured trainings. But right now, this is a massive guide and a, really a ton of resources to help you get started with some evidence-based ways to, to target language. So feel free to ask questions about any of these resources or go ahead and download as many of them as you need. Again, I do recommend going through and adding one, one habit at a time as you work through your featured trainings, but if you wanna just start creating a binder of all your resources, here is where you can go to find all of those printable handouts. So thanks so much for watching and let me know if you have any questions.